Hello, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. If you're anything like me, you like to tinker, know how it's done, or save yourself a buck or two. On this video here, we want to show you how to make a single cell micro lipo with a micro uh, lipo battery connector so you can charge these with a park zone or hobby zone single cell battery charger. So, here we go. Alright, so here's what you're going to need. You need a push pin or an ice pick or something to push a little hole in the battery tabs. A pair of wire cutters to snip the battery lead to the custom length. Some strippers to strip off some insulation, solder, a soldering gun, and a uh, heat gun is really nice. A hair dryer doesn't quite get hot enough, and a lighter, well, that's not safe to use around a battery. Okay, so the soldering iron's all heated up. Go ahead and empty out the contents of this package. You have your single cell lipo battery, red and black shrink wrap for your positive and negative terminals and what's going to become your battery lead. So, first thing you're going to want to do is remove the battery from this protective tray. And just I use the pair of scissors, you can use a knife, whatever, just take your time and be careful. Don't want to puncture the, the foil packaging around the battery. Okay. So, remove the battery. Careful when you remove this that the tabs, these little battery tabs, aren't stuck to this tape and you peel it off. You don't peel these tabs off because, well, that renders the battery kind of useless. Okay, move that aside. Bag aside. Okay, first thing I like to do is to take the batteries, flatten these ends out, place the battery tabs over something kind of squishy because what you're going to do is you're going to take this pin and you're going to push it through each one of these tabs. And it makes it easy if you have something behind it. So I just go up just a little bit above, stick a hole, and the next one, stick another hole, oops, all the way through, okay. Next what I'll do is I snip off the extra part of this tab, which is about half of it. Okay, when you cut the next one, don't snip them together, or snip it like this, because you get the two tabs connected, and you will short the battery out. I flip the battery over, and then snip off the extra. Okay, really doesn't matter if you have too much, too little. I like just a little bit of tab, because you can use a little more flexible if you need to maneuver these tabs around inside the aircraft. So, let's get the snips aside, these two little tabs, let's throw those away. Okay, alright, let's go ahead and make up the battery lead. So, you'll notice, this is a patch cable, there's a female and a male end. And what you want to determine is how long do you want your battery lead. You don't want to make it too short, it's kind of ridiculous. If it's too long, sometimes it might get ungainly and you'd have trouble securing it. So me, I usually snip it about in the middle. There's another reason for that also, let me show you. So, middle, snip, oops, okay. Now, with this, you still have a good female end that you could use for a receiver someday if you needed to. So we'll set that aside. Alright, so there's your battery lead. Next, what you're going to want to do is trim the heat shrink. It comes with these. Now, I've kind of done this a little dramatic. You can see I made the end crooked. A 45, if you will. Well, that's not good. You want to make sure you're as close to clean and straight as you can be with both these pieces. Snip off the extra. Okay. Uh, now, as far as what length, me, I like to go just a little bit longer than the battery lead itself. So we'll cut it off about here. This is not precision. You could make it a little longer if you wanted to. I'm trying to make these as close to even as I can. Okay. So there we go. Okay, you got everything set to go. So here's what you do. Battery lead. Stick the red shrink tube on the red wire, black on the black wire. Okay, let them slide down, get them out of your way. And the red's going to go on the plus, the positive. Push it through the hole in the battery tab. I like to fold it over, and you'll have it, the strip end sticks out a little bit past the tab, uh, battery tab, so I'll spin it around a couple times. Kind of threads it back onto itself, and that way if you pull on it, even if the solder gives way, you still have a good good joint. Oops, lost my shrink tube. Okay. And we're going to stick the black through the minus, the negative. 
There we go, fold it over, twist it around. All right, let's solder this. So, don't let your soldering gun be too hot. You don't want to hold it on there too long. Really, it's not a big deal. This goes really fast. This wire is real thin, so it heats up quickly. Okay. There. A little bit on the positive side. Okay, flip it over to the other side. Okay, negative. Good to go. All right. Give it a little tug. Everything seems to be in good shape, so we'll move on to the next step. All right, so you've got it all soldered up. Well, tuggy tug, everything's good. So let's slide the shrink tube down over the tabs. Make sure they're covering as best as you can. Take your heat gun. Shrink the tube down. It's pretty easy. Change is pretty dramatic. You'll see it happen quickly. Right, flip it over to the other side. Alright, there you go. So now you have yourself a charge and fly single cell micro lipo battery.